Hey guys, Beast here. I'm going to bring you an ESS product review. This is their crossfire and suppressor combo kit that I got. It's three lenses and two frames. I'll have to apologize right now for the reflection. I've tried to shoot this several times. Uh, there's just no way around the reflection. The studio light straight above me, you can actually probably see the camera. Um, doing this at night is the only way to get a pretty clean image on here. You're looking at the smoked lens, if you try to see my hand through there. Uh, it's a good medium smoke, I would say. This is over a year and a half of wear, and you'll be able to see if it tries to focus there. The bottom of the earpiece is rubberized, and it's just worn slightly uh, from use. There is a pinhole in the back. You can attach one of their included straps uh, for around the headband. You can kind of see there's a little bit of wear happening on this rubber piece. But they have to be some of the most comfortable eyewear that I've ever worn. Um, I can literally wear these for over 24 hours without any issue. Uh, many times during the fire service, I'm wearing them either with the copper or the tinted lenses. And then you go into a night patrol. Um, you're doing things obviously in the dark you still need to wear eye protection and instead of pulling down goggles i was merely carrying uh, the clear lens which i'll show you in a second and so this particular pair their crossbow i've easily worn for 24 hours now the difference obviously this is their clear lens this is something i would just keep in my bag just the lens itself i'll show you how it changes over in a second you can tell there's still some dirt on theirs and there's still a reflection. Uh, the difference in, in the suppressor frame is the earpiece. It is extremely thin and flexible. These are going to be a little difficult to keep on your face without the retention strap unless you're wearing something like EarPro, uh, which is what this primar prim primarily was designed for was military men so that they could wear these and still have their ear protection electronic earmuffs in and you weren't creating the tension headaches. I have found this to be an amazing asset. You can see the crossbow suppressor there. An amazing asset um, on the motorcycle. Uh, the small, thin frame here, flexible. You can wear these all day while riding without getting any of those tension headaches that at least I get quite often, unless you're wearing a specific helmet that's designed um, that maybe has uh, some pull-out foam for your ears. Now, these break down fairly easy. The nose pieces, which if you're planning on using these in hard use, I recommend getting a few extra pair of nose pieces. Um, that's just the crossbow replacement nose piece. They're a couple bucks each. Pick up a few of those within a two week span I lost one and broke the other. Not sure how it happened on either occasion, but I did. Pulling them in and out of bags, changing the lenses, going from day and night, I think is probably where it happened. So you pull the nose piece out. Now, you can leave those in a lot of them, but you only get two nose pieces and three frames. And we'll get to the copper here in a second. But to change them out is very simple. You have this middle piece that you swing up. And then in each corner is this little tab. And you just pull this out. And we will throw in the copper while we're here. To put the copper in, tuck in that corner, tuck in the other side, bring it up into the frame, and lock that center piece down. And there you have it. And of course, you can put the nose piece in. I find it helps 
if you squeeze it with one hand while pushing it in with the other so you don't disrupt that. Um, I will have to say that the copper was probably the most useful. Um, it's not quite as dark as the smoke. However, I was able to use this um, very bright conditions, especially driving long hours. Um, and because it's not a full tint, you get those sort of in-between times, the dusk and dawn that you're able to use this. So I actually found the copper um, quite effective. I actually use that quite a bit on the motorcycle. Um, I can use a tinted shield. It's not really that affected um, with the tint. Raise the shield up during maybe sundown situations and then I still have eye protection on the motorcycle. You know, I could sit there and make this a 20 minute video and probably find all the footage of rocks pelting me of you know all sorts of things in wildland fire on the motorcycle where you know you've got shells ejecting if you're out practicing your um, firearms instruction um, if you're changing up and doing more advanced moves you may be getting a lot of blowback and um, potentially some powder um, in your eyes so it's really it behooves you to get a good set of eye protection I will tell you, just in the year and a half I've had this, as I mentioned, I ordered a couple more nose pieces and this is the second copper lens. The first one um, got scratched quite a bit. So although these are designed to survive, you know, IED attacks and shotgun blasts to the face, you'll see all sorts of videos online about that. Um, they are still one of the most comfortable, most versatile pairs of iPro that I own. And I highly recommend going to the ESS, checking them out. Let me go. Let me know if you guys have used these, or if you found something else that you prefer, uh, in the comments below.